morning, people. Good morning. We are a grandparents' parents, a states. Uh, we are a states' grandparents uh, today. Football fans today. So yeah. We're going to see Donny Rovers. Donny Rovers. <laughs> 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 We're gonna pick up Ryder and Forrest, and then take them to the football ground. See you there. All right, so we are on our way to the Keep Mode Stadium. Stadium. Thank you, lovely. Thank you, Chunky, for uh, uh, giving Lola the word to say, because Lola is so forgetful. And with us today is the football player, Ryder. And the violin player. Yes, you know me. I've got my own channel. Watch it. <laughs> so, subscribe to his channel. Forest World. Yes. Sir. Subscribe to his channel, it's Forest not World. A, it's not called the Forest World. It's just called Forest. Yeah, it's called Forest. Yes. And um, <coughs> she already, he already got uh, five, vi four videos there. Um, subscribe to his channel because he's really good in making his videos. So today he got another video coming out. Yes, you've got about like two hundred, Lona. <laughs> yeah, actually, you've got about two hundred videos. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You've made lots. Yes. Well, because I had I'm my to do that as well. our channel is already is that two years old now. You've got about like two hundred subscribers. Uh... Yeah, it's at least two yeah, years old. Yeah, two years old. <laughs> we only have 200 subscribers. But it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's our um, souvenirs, yeah. uh, memories, when, you know, our daily lives memories. Yes, it shows you all. So, you know, and um, yeah, when it's a nice uh, thing, videos to look up one day. And hopefully, uh, YouTube will not um, uh, crush it and uh, hide it because we don't have copy of it yeah. it's all on youtube yes so thank you youtube yeah. for keeping our memories yes thank you as well youtube for keeping my memories well. yes Each and you will have a lot of uh, videos coming up for you because you're only eight i am only you, eight so you can make really good a thousand <laughs> And make a thousand of YouTube uh, video. I only have one subscriber, which is you, Yeah, but uh, there are there are viewers, so the viewers don't subscribe. So probably one day they will subscribe to your channel. Yes. We got loads of. Uh, early enough, you can no, well, in a way, I think there, there is space in there. Yes, baby. Yeah, uh, get mommy and uh, whoever, Tinang, to subscribe to you. Straight ahead, isn't it? No, that, that way there. Straight ahead? Yeah, whatever that uh, you call that, but that's what, that's the way we are going. Well, we're not turning off, are we? We're going straight ahead. So, coming up, Doncaster Rovers FC, Echo Power Stadium. So we are going to car park three. So we are for car park three. So we're just starting us two and now. I'm gonna go and see the uh, changing rooms, and then we're gonna. Go to the stadium and see the dugout and stuff, so it should be interesting. Here we are, reception. Mm -hmm. 
right, guys, so this is the, you know here, this is the player's entrance. So this is where all the players are playing. This is George, George looks after the players and they come in and George looks after the referees on a match day. Yeah. So you, you'll see him at half time when referees come off, he yards referees off as fans of booing referees. Yeah. Okay. And at full time. And at full time as well, because they might need guarding if they're getting booed by the fans. So we'll go through into the tunnel now. Two more joining. Oh, really? Yeah. One of the stewards is bringing two more. Oh, mascots, aren't you? You yeah. need to be a bit further down, CDA. Oh, with yeah. the air, All right, yeah. Yeah. So this is the tunnel area where we're going through now. So we have to be quiet here because the manager's in here. Just watch your foot. Don't be still. We're going to take you to the changing rooms first, so you see the changing rooms. And they're going to have to spend about two or three minutes to deliver these final things off the public man. So when they come out, they walk down here. It's a building room. That's off a of steam train, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, kids, do you want to line up along the wall? And you can walk out as if you're walking out as players, yeah? So, this is where all the Rovers players will line up to go out down this side. Oh, do you know what you're doing, mate? 
Wanna go in that side? Yeah? No. So this is where all the players will line up. You'll notice it's two different colours. So there's red. You know what? Why is it red down this corridor? Okay, stats for Doncaster Rovers side. Yeah, playing? Yeah. Why do you think it's blue down that one? Because yeah, it's blue Alexander. No, no, because we've got a rugby team as well that play here, and they play in blue and yellow. And their home change room is that one. So down that end, it's blue and yellow because that's their club colours. Down this end, it's red and white. So, that's the cool one. so when the rugby team's playing, the home team's in that change room, the away team's in that one. When it's a football, the home team's in that one, the away team's in that one. Yeah? So that's why it's two different colours. And we also have a ladies football team as well, the women's football team now. Who are playing here in two weeks time. So they're going to play three games here this season as well. So we've got lots and lots of games on here this season. So, it's kick-off time now, the referee's here. So we start walking out, yeah? Here we are, the Keaton Art Stadium, home of Doncaster Rovers. Feel free to stick a seat, kids. So the seat that's just been vacated there, that's Grant C, who was the manager, which he's hardly ever used because he's not stood up in that corner there shouting at the players. That's Cliff C that you're sat in, he's the assistant <laughs> manager, again hardly ever used because he's normally stood up next to Grant shouting at the players. Yeah. That one's the away dugout. If you look behind you, See those windows up there, where it says Wilfrey to be high? That's where... That's where the CCTV cameras are, so that's where the police are up there and our safety team and they can keep an eye on everything that's happening in the stadium. So if you've been naughty in the stadium, you're going to be behind. Yeah? Behind there, where it says Spinks Clubbing. meal and then he'll be ready to go later on okay but in here you'll find uh, later on when you come back you'll find members of our foundation staff they'll be doing uh, football skill challenges with you behind on the uh, with the net uh, there'll be a face painter here um, and you'll get to go in there where there are playstations there's xboxes and there's all sorts of different activities you can do in there okay so yeah this is a real So we're now going to head that way, we're going to follow Mark and we'll make his way upstairs uh, into our hospitality uh, area. Vlogging the vlogger. Yes. Oh, box. 
Where you can have a pre match meal and stuff. I think this is where we had our Christmas party. <laughs> oh, this is a right. Look at that. It's Zandy on a match day, innit? Come and have a meal and that, and then you can uh, watch game from here. Look, brilliant. Today we've got some very important ex-players. Um, so when you're looking at the flag, are you talking about flags? Are you talking about Fancy Tierney out there? No. no. Okay, so one of the flags out there is Francis Tierney. Francis Tierney is a very famous uh, Rovers ex-player. He scored the winning goal when Rovers got promoted back from the conference. Um, he scored the golden goal against Dagmar and Redbridge. Um, and he's coming today to receive his, uh, his heritage number. Um, so he'll be up here today. So the special guest. Jonathan will be around later on, who is our pitch side announcer. You'll see him later on with the microphones. Pitch side, he'll be announcing the teams, he'll be announcing substitutes, he'll also be announcing uh, all the Rovers goal scorers, fingers crossed, today as well. Yeah? So, uh, I don't think he's around. No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. So, what Jonathan does is he comes up here beforehand, he will do a bit of an uh, interview with any ex players or any special guests that are up here. Um, he'll read out the teams, and then after the game, he comes back up here and he does an interview and awards the Man of the Match award. Hopefully, to, well, it will be a Rovers fan, but hopefully, after a Rovers win and everybody's very happy. So. <laughs> okay, uh, where's, let just double check with Mark. Just wait here two seconds, let's make sure we can go into, the, we're okay to go into the next one. So, this is our boardroom, so this is where the owners of the club will come and have their dinner later on. Um, but the favourite part of this room, and something that many people don't think we have a lot of, uh, lot of are our trophies. Well, this, this is our trophy, trophy cabinet. cabinet. So we'll talk, quickly talk you through a few. So this is the uh, league winners, uh, when we won the league back in 2004 from Division 3. This is the Johnson's Paint Trophy from Just when Rovers away. beat <laughs> Bristol Rovers at Cardiff's Millennium Stadium 3-2. We've got any Leeds fans with us? Any Leeds fans? No? Yeah. Oh, we're all one over there. Are you a Leeds fan? <laughs> well, this oh, is the League One playoff final trophy from when Rovers beat Leeds 1-0 at Wembley uh, in 2007. James, uh, 2008, sorry, when James Hayter scored the winning goal. Can I just say this? This is not the first time Dean's got his hands on a trophy this year. <laughs> Dean has actually won SLO of the year for the whole country. Thanks so for that. He's also won trophy. <laughs> Uh, and this is also the football from the uh, Wembley game. This is Owen. Owen, if you ask Owen nicely, he might let you have a photo of the trophy. <laughs> if you're nice to him. Yeah. Depends. <laughs> what colour? That's it. Okay. See? I'm just going to... This is where the film came from. checking the stands to make sure everything's okay for when we let fans in in about ooh, just under half an hour. 
And yeah, isn't this a great view of the stadium? Mm. I, I wish I could sit here every game. But Mark makes me worry. Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to head down these stairs, so just be careful when you're walking down. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of kids running, so just be careful. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll no, wait, wait, wait. Let everyone go first. Wait. Yeah, Romy. Mm. Mm. fans that have passed away. Crew Alexander players arriving on the team bus, look. Those orange ones, that's what you've got to, you've got to get it through there, right? As well, though, a free goal, so many points you can get. Yeah. Oh, that's one goal. Yeah, I know, he gets three goals. If you get it through that orange bit, you're playing in, in an hour's time. <laughs> oh, nearly better. One top corner lap. Oh, One's leading so far, one out of three. Need <laughs> <laughs> two more goals for this. You've got to get it through them orange bits. Go on, one more go. Just about having a go, mate. Oh, neither. You won't fire off on that third one. So here we are in Donny Dog's kennel. I'm not playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Players warming up now before game. 25 minutes to kick off, so the end is still pretty empty. So you have 30%. 30% that can still uh, meet you. Second down, Rovers winning 1-0. After math, much traffic. <laughs> so this is Doncaster Lakeside. Right now. Right now. Uh, and <laughs> we are going back home now. Yes. So did you enjoy, boys? Yes. Mm -hmm. My GoPro is dead. Your GoPro is dead. That's yeah. fine. We'll charge that when we get home. No, we need to charge. Traffic. Tra 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 traffic. So we are passing by McDonald's for their dinner. 
I'm having a medium. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Salted, yeah. Okay. The cheese burger. Off we go and then we're gonna look for a Chinese for our own tea later or dinner.